Bondi. It's the ocean playground for a city of beach lovers. But getting wet has its risks. Keeping the beach safe are the boys in blue. the beach where anyone can star. Anything can happen. Oh, oh, oh. There's the good. That's what I like. <laughs> Always you guys. The bad. That's a horrible way to start the year. And the ugly. Oh. Tonight, a mass rescue gone wrong. <gasps> Collapsed party people. And the summer's first nude rescue. In Sydney, well, we've seen our summers disappeared again. In Western Australia tomorrow, hot in the east, the Tasmanians mostly warm. It's the wettest start to a Bondi summer in 50 years. While the rest of Australia swelters, in Bondi, La Nina rules. La Nina usually means uh, more rainfall for the east coast of Aussie and a, a larger chance of cyclones up north, which is uh, a surfer's dream, really. Surfers might be happy, but swimmers are staying away in droves. Rain's gone down a little bit. But like, you can see from the stairs, uh, pretty hard rainfall, you know. But the downtime is making lifeguards increasingly nervous. We've had no practice this year, you know. There's no, been no like real days that we've been busy at all. My prediction is, once this weather starts to turn good, the beach are gonna, is just going to flood with people. Mouse's prediction is about to come true. After months of rain, the sun makes a bold appearance. It's the first hot Saturday of the summer holidays. What beachgoers aren't expecting are five dangerous rips spread across a kilometre of beach. Crowds just tripled and the conditions are just deteriorated. The rips are really starting to pull with the outgoing tide. It's shaping up as the most dangerous day of the new season. The first real test for lifeguards. With so many swimmers in the water, lifeguards launch their most valuable asset. Fast, powerful and highly manoeuvrable, jet skis have proved the ultimate surf rescue device. One after another, Azza scoops up swimmers from the rips. By midday, he's rescued 40 people. But there's a limit to how many the jet ski can handle. Head lifeguard Hoppo has plenty on his mind. 99% of the time we're in control down here at Bondi, but Today's conditions are just uh, so bad. If anyone's going to drown, today is that day. 2 p.m. Thousands more have flocked to sun-drenched Bondi. The tide is dead low. The rips, dead dangerous. Quick sticks, the three guys go on. Go, Azza. Uh, yeah, you need me back there. As it's getting there, but he'll, he'll have four on there because there's oh, this three going. Multiple rescues take place across different rips. Among the victims is Swedish backpacker Alvin. Quick, quick, jump on. But as quickly as one swimmer is rescued, others get into strife. Is that you, Hoppo? Just, just keep her on those two girls. As Hoppo monitors the rip at South Bondi, 300 metres north, backpacker's rip is unattended. Three swimmers are in dire trouble. Hoppo realises the notorious rip is unpatrolled. It's OK at the moment, but when Az drops his bloke... Oh, there's a couple out the back. Lifeguards must scramble. Quick sticks, the three guys go on. Three swimmers are going under near the shore. Another two further out. Azza floors the jet ski, with Alvin still on board. The swell and surge make pickups difficult. Up. 
He rescues Kyle, a Chinese student, then reverses to collect his friend. But another swimmer is drowning 10 metres away. The rescued girl falls off. As Azza returns to get her, he loses Kyle. I'm going to get out there, I am. Oh, it's going under the girl at the back, you feel off. It takes valuable time to get the girl back on the jet ski. Now it's Kyle who's again drowning. A nearby surfer could lend assistance, but fails to notice. Kyle gets a foot on the sandbank, only to be swept back into deep water. Two guys in close. Yeah, halfway, we need you back at backpackers, mate. Reinforcements are on the way. Hey, 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 hey! Moments from drowning, Kyle grabs Alvin's leg. Ignorant of the danger, more swimmers head into the rip. The jet ski's got about five on there now. We're not going to be able to save everybody. Stability on the jet ski is precarious. Then, one more swimmer struggles to get on board. Can you get up on? Get up on. Up, 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 up on here. Chapo heads out to alleviate the crisis. But it's too late. Ah. Worse off is Chinese student Kyle. He's helped onto Chapo's board by a volunteer lifesaver. The jet ski is back in action. But Kyle has a new problem. The rescue has torn his shorts off. Hoppo heads out to rescue two swimmers still caught in Backpacker's Rip. Azza rescues Kyle's dignity. But Kyle has got more serious concerns. My friends, oh, no, got my friends. We'll find your friends, OK? Your friends are alive. Oh. Oh. That was interesting. Had a nude man on my board. Thank you, I have. My pleasure. Good to have you. Good to have Thank you very much. It's my pleasure, mate. Yeah. It's what we do it for. Oh, yeah. We're nice people like you. He's a lucky boy. Thank He's you. a lucky boy. Lucky yeah, boy. And thank you for being so thankful. I'm the only time. I know, I know. Oh. It's all right. Oh, mate, there was people, like, drowned left, right and centre. And I didn't know who to go to. There was just people everywhere. There was people in the nude and everything. It was like, it was, I had a person face down. I couldn't get to them. I reckon, you know, like... It must have been like 20 people in about 10 minutes all at once. Kyle's dramas aren't over yet. Is he OK now? He, he's OK. So any water? Did you swallow any water? Yeah, he, he drank a lot of water. If Kyle has taken in water, he could be in serious trouble. No, we're going to do that. I have a headache now. OK, I reckon maybe an ambo. Kyle is in danger of secondary drowning. Water on the lungs can kill, even hours or days later. Yeah, look at his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get him an ambo. He's, he's got a headache and he's tired and they said he swallowed a bit of water. As Kyle is taken to the tower, his condition worsens. Yeah, oxygen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through here, come on. This is some oxygen. There you go, Deep, deep breaths and just relax. Kyle's first swim at Bondi nearly cost him his life. But he is not aware of the danger he still faces. I don't have need to go to hospital. You don't want to go to hospital now. Yeah, you should, buddy. Because you're underwater for a long time. 
you nearly drown. He has to go to hospital because there's been stories like, yeah. No, he's not okay. Through my experience, he's not okay. And we've had people die 10 days later. We need to take you to hospital. It's not negotiable. He's seeing my friend's life. Uh, he's a good mind. He's a good mind. Yeah, if he wasn't in such a bad way, I would have thought it was comical. But he saw his life flash before his eyes, so I was kind of quite sympathetic with him, and he didn't even know he was nude. Kyle will undergo tests and a night of observation. Lifeguards barely made it through the first big day of summer. Now, they brace for the biggest event of the year. Christmas Day, and the guest list is expected to run to 40,000. Many will be backpackers a long way from home. This is a drone to be Santa. Harry's wants to make it a special day. I'll go through the lifeguards. I never thought I'd say it, but I think I've grown and I'm looking more like my twin brother, Kerbox. <laughs> <laughs> no reindeers or sleighs for this Santa. Well, there he is, look, Santa. <laughs> Oh, he fully got a wave in. It's the biggest wave I've ever seen. It's yeah, it's Easy. Yeah, one yeah. foot, mate. Well, the crowd's mayhem. There's kids everywhere. Merry Christmas, everyone. While beachgoers prepare for a day of fun, lifeguards prepare for the consequences. To prepare for a day like Christmas Day, it's pretty much uh, all the training goes in early stage in the summer when they come in back to work in September. And then when it comes to Christmas Day, it's like uh, we've built up the whole season like a footy season, and that becomes like our grand final day. And you know, everyone sort of needs to be ready and, and needs to peak for that, that time. Crowds arrive en masse, including thousands attending a dance party behind the beach. The first emergency isn't in the water. A German girl has fainted outside the dance party. Dunno attends. Do you know how to say it? Then, a second collapse. Now two of Bondi's seven lifeguards are off the beach. Young guys come to the tower and told us someone's been put in the recovery position. The worst thing about that is you don't know what's wrong, you know. She could be unconscious, could be dead, could be drug overdose. Yeah, it makes you okay. She's had a couple of too many drinks in the sun. I might stay with her for a sec. Yatesy needs to work out if the girl needs an ambulance. I think you should probably just go with him just for half an hour. Even. She and her friends are worried about another problem. I really don't want to go anywhere. I just want to live life here. She's worried because in case her parents find out. She's comfortable. She just had too much to drink, you know? Heat and alcohol can cause severe dehydration. But with the radio running hot, Yatesy needs to get back to the tower. She was comfortable, so I thought we'd leave her there and just come back and check on her every couple of minutes. You're not, you're not allowed to drink on the beach, right? Drunk revelers and strong rips make a dangerous combination down on the beach. When Mouse goes down, I'll be the only one in, in Central. What, what should I tell them next time they come? No, nah, mate, we can't deal with it. They've they just got to call the ambos. They've got the event for uh, Christmas Day for all the backpackers. You know, people have been drunk in that as well, and it's, it's, we've had to say that we can't do that. It's just too busy. We need to look after the water. That's our priority. Uh, they need to deal with that with their own event. And, I think a lot of them are now starting to wander down from there and, and wanting to have a swim. It's such a nice day, the water's warm, and we've just got people uh, really... It could go at any stage, I think. Dunno's German backpacker is coming too, 
but not making much sense. What? Are you going to wait for me? I'm not going to wait for you. Are you okay? Yes. Where's your friends? Harry, he's out. He's out there. She's conscious, she's conscious, but she's off her head. Okay, have you just been drinking today? I don't know if you had anything else? No, just a little game. Just a little game? Okay. Okay, we've got an ammo on the way, Maddie. Yeah, We're just going to try and get you some help. We're going to try and find your friends as well. No, you're not OK. Finally, her boyfriend arrives to help her and the ambulance is cancelled. No problem. I'll get you some sunscreen. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks, bud. Meanwhile, the party crowd are dropping their guard and putting themselves at risk. Get out of the water if you're drinking. Look, I've got too many people to worry about. If you're drunk getting in the middle of that rip, you could drown easily. The tide's starting to really come in. You're getting all these people, and they're all getting confident standing on this sandbank, and a few bigger sets will come in and it'll wash them all straight off into the rip. And like that many people going in the rip at once, it'll be like chaotic for us, like really dangerous. By 4 p.m., lifeguards have conducted 50 rescues. Again, the jet ski handles the lion's share. My son. I had a report of a, a daughter and uh, her mother was swimming with the two daughters, Asian, and they've been in here and they've been getting told to move out of the, out of the rip and she's run off the mother with the young daughter and left the 13-year-old. Uh, yeah, the 13-year-old's now missing, so it's a bit of a worry. They said she could sort of swim, but it's uh, a little bit of a worry that she was last seen in the water. Uh, her mother is ordered out of the water for her own safety. After 10 long minutes, sick. Whereabouts are you, Hop? I found her up here near near uh, backpackers. We have her. We have her. Come on. Thank you, Emma. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you all right? Where did you go? It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Thank you, Emma. It's all right. It's stressful, but you've got to sort of stay as calm as you can. And because the parents are, are, are frantic, she was going to jump in the rip trying to find her daughter. You could really see on her face the, the stre how stressed she was. It's a good feeling that uh, we haven't lost anyone, and it's a great outcome for the family. Stress, she made me my very nervous. So thank you very much, and uh, thank you them. Thanks, boys. That was a bit stressful, but happy ending. By 5 p.m., Christmas mayhem peaks. Right, I've lost all my friends. Did you say nude by me? But help is at hand. Give me the hand, just give me a show, eh? Oh, yeah, mate, yeah, 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 yeah. How about you go and do the rescue yeah, for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. You, you might be up next. Just, uh, just let me know and I'll go. I want your dress. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah it's Christmas here, yeah. Well, While there's fun on the sand, the situation is far more serious in the water. Five women are caught in a rip. Barnes, if you want to get back to uh, third round for Hoppo. The jet ski backs up Hoppo. Grab that one, grab that one. You come here. The jet ski shuttles the women to shore. Hang on. OK, we're going to jump on the back of this one, OK, or two. Here we go, here we go. How good's your jet ski, eh? It's so handy, mate. After being used non-stop all day... Jet ski's out of petrol. Oh, God! Go! Oh, shit. You cannot swim? You can't swim? Yeah, that is very deep. Deep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the men help us, so we 
alive. Oh, we're very lucky. Safety on Bondi is severely compromised and there's no shortage of potential victims. Hoppo makes a drastic decision to evacuate the water at South Bondi. We, uh, I'm back on radio. Just trying to clear these guys third round. Copy Hoppo. Thousands are herded out of danger. My guy, no more swimming down the centre of the feet. No. At least we got a smaller amount of area to control, you know. It was just getting a bit out of hand. We had too many people in too many areas and too many rips and not enough lifeguards. <laughs> Paid to lose someone on Christmas Day. Get out. It's such a relief now, eh? It's, just... yeah, it's such yeah. a relief. Just looking there instead of there and there. He's right. It's a good call. For lifeguards, it's been a Christmas day without family, but not without friends. It's funny, I think all the years I always end up on the pack up with the ACL Christmas Day for some reason. I don't know, what, I don't know why it happens, but it just seems to happen. I didn't see Dunson for like three hours, and at one stage he would come in and like take over from where I was. I was like, oh mate, like Merry Christmas, you know, <laughs> gave each other a hug. And... and Christmas dinner? What else but a turkey pizza? Next time on Bondi Rescue. Bondi's big beach party. But things turn dangerous. That was really, really close. A rescue with more than meets the eye. There's romance in the air. I guess I'm going out on a date. And tears in the tower.